Uh, thank you all for joining us for Griffin Theater Company's first production, a stage reading of Imagining America and Other Short Plays by Howard Porter. Our group of five actors have been part of work putting this production together this fall, and we are excited for you to see it. Although each play tells a different story, they are threaded with commentary on many aspects of American culture, from politics and government to Hollywood and business, prejudice, greed, and love. The humor ranges from satirical to absurdist, dry to slapstick, dark to silly. Uh, this is a warning, there is a little bit of heavy thematic content and violence in the play. Um, please make sure to be respectful of the rest of the audience uh, by keeping yourself and your phones quiet. If you'd like to take pictures, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you have no flash photography. Um, in case of emergencies, the exits are behind you and to the right. Unfortunately, there are no flotation devices on your seats. <laughs> uh, thank you, and it's for the show. These are the laws. The first law is that all should know the laws. All who know the laws shall obey the laws. The laws shall be spoken aloud in places where the people shall gather, and all who hear them shall know, and all who know shall obey. These are the laws. Respect the chapter, honor the judges. The exchange of goods, goods shall be unconfined. Nudity should not be permitted. If a man should cripple another's camel, that man's camel shall be crippled as well. If bleach is stored, it should be stored with an appropriate container. <laughs> if one should seek to divorce his wife, he should speak her name thrice in the chapel. If a wife should seek to divorce her husband, she must confess to her crimes. All the signs should be lighted. <laughs> All taxes must be paid. All vehicles must be parked on alternate sides of the road, and shoes and shirts shall be required. The destruction of property is not permitted. The winners of prizes shall be notified by mail. <laughs> the cowboy and the farmer should be friends. We take a second so. If one steals bread, he shall be whipped. If you pass within the chapel, you shall be stoned. <laughs> if one gets a woman with a child, he shall not be beholden. If you wear a hat on top of another hat, you shall be shot on sight. <laughs> Do not make the image of a man sex in jest or in earnest. Do not show the bodies of children unclothed. Do not burn the banners of the chapel, nor make water upon them. Do not swim after eating. Do not swim. Don't eat. Do not. In the interest of justice, evidence shall be collected. In the event of wrongdoing, you shall be informed. In the end, you will realize it is all for the best. Keep to the right. Return to your homes. Respect the chapel. All acts not mentioned may not be allowed. These are the laws. I'd like to move on now. I'm somewhat pressed for time and briefings will be happy to be short. Let's hear from section 12. I wasn't aware of that. Is this a change? That is a change from the previous schedule, but not the current one. Was I in the loop for that? No, it's in the down one. Why is it still in the field?
Yeah. What is your name? My name is Bill. Are you from Section 12? I'm off license. Please step away from the microphone. We don't have time. Where were we at? Section 13. Section 13 is ready to present data. Is there a No. I'm sorry, no. There's an outline. You're finding a red binder. I don't have a red binder. In your case, sir, you're finding a yellow binder. Why is that? The second is more appropriate. What's your name? My name is Boone. Are you from Irish origin and or background? No, sir, I am not. Please continue. As you know, Section 13's operational parameters are delimited by the collection and correlation of the data insofar as it impacts. This outline? These actual remarks? No. These are preliminary remarks before the outline that at this moment I'm speaking now. Alright. Collection data as it impacts upon a relevant aspect of the section's work. Heading 1. This is not outline. This is heading of this is heading 1 of the written outline as written. Heading 1. Fill the sampling. 1,054 participants were surveyed uh, over a 16 day period commencing on the third of the month previous. Previous to what? This month. Very good. The 1,054 participants were chosen from a random list generated by the section's main grade 360. Okay, how were they chosen? Randomly, sir. By the section? No, sir, by the independent consulting firm of Hasselbach, AEG, located in Hawk, Netherlands. Was I in the loop for that? I refer to my colleague. A composite. Excuse me. Yes. May I call him? Who are you? Rose. <laughs> Rose. Uh, yes, thank you. Can you be me? A composite. Yeah, I'm sorry. A composite. I'm sorry. Where? Where? A composite oh, yeah, see, of 1,054 subjects served yield a cross-sectional individual of 36 years of age. 64% male, 33% female, 69% Caucasian, 30% African American, 6% Hispanic, 4% Asian, excluding the Hong Kong, Hong Kong, of course. 2.5% Native American, in or Inuit, 5% other exclusive, Mayan Polynesian, India Archipelago, of South Indian parallel, with 9.4 years of school and having a geographic mean locale. Uh, 12 miles uh, west of the intersection of High I-70 and State Road 283, Chua County, Kansas. Is this relevant? Sir? Is it relevant? According to my figure, sir, it is relevant, but only the third order of the magnitude. In accordance with established practice, the subjects were not instructed as to the nature and purpose of the survey. A uh, series of flashes Wait, colored like they were. were yeah. Why were they not instructed as to the no, established practice? Established for. Is this heading two? Hmm? Is this heading two? Uh, no, sir. Can we go on heading two? I mean, that is possible. Do you have any objections? No, that's, that's fine. We can move on. Wait, I, I'd like to return to the particular report, if time allows. Heading two, the integrity form, purpose and technique. The form was designed for the purpose of the survey as defined by the section in accordance with the stated aims of research. Can you reappoint this panel to the section's please? research is allowed, or is aimed towards completion of the part of the project to which it has been assigned? <laughs> Certain sources were consulted or referred to in the, in the devising of the integrative form. Okay, this is a long ass list. These sources include, without completely consisting of, the Minnesota Multipassive Personality Test, the Iowa Standard Test, the Microsoft Holly Test, the Spatial Relations, the Diversity, Vocation, Aptitude Series, the Tyler Weinberg, Gallimard Test, the Cortical Dysfunction Syndrome, the Bob Jones University Common Response Exam, the University uh, Firefighters Physical Proportion of the Department of Motor Vehicles Test for the states of Tennessee, New Mexico, and West Virginia, and the Student Metrics of the Trials of the United States Postal Service in the 1970 provision by the National Security Council, insofar as it impacts on the research. Uh, there was driving. Sir? The motor. You mentioned New Mexico. There was driving. Uh, just a moment. There were some aspects of driver related activity. Why? Sir? What for? Could you rephrase that? I'd just like to get absolutely clear on the purpose of these activities. The reason, the reason for them. I mean, as discussed in the pre-briefing. What's the pre-briefing? How long did before the briefing? Yeah. Before the briefing we're having right now. Oh, that's the current nature, yes. I see. Was I in the loop for that? Was I in the loop for that? <laughs> Gentlemen, was I in the loop for that? I need to be in the loop, gentlemen. You all know that about me. I have the deepest feelings concerning the loop, and if I'm not in it, then I want to hear it right now. Is that understood? Yes, sir. A letter was mailed. A letter? Yes. How was it mailed? In a standard digit number of some flat. A typed letter? Then he had me typing it wrong. Well, let's hope so. Let's just hope so. Does everybody listen and hear me talking? Where were we? Heading three, sir. Already? Would you like to review the outline so far? Uh, is there time? In this point, I'll answer not any further. 
It actually proved helpful to hear your concise um, What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> What's beeping? My watch. Is there an aid here? The section concludes based on preliminary analysis. Yeah. Are, are you an aid? I'm authorized to have this one, sir. Someone said I have my helicopter waiting. Tell who, sir. It's the. It's the 14112 of the new telephone, sir. Preliminary analysis of the numerical field indicates. Child 6 first. I'm running very late. A 23 probability of high occurrence, a 41 probability of moderate occurrence, a 60% probability of low occurrence, a 9% probability of non occurrence, all three can be equal less or minus 4% or more. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what's not occurring? Sir? What is not occurring? I just don't understand the question. Just very simply, I am asking, what exactly does not The helicopter is on the path. The helicopter is on the path. Are you speaking to me? Oh, no, sir. I'm not in communication. The helicopter is not reaching the path. Oh. <laughs> Good. Conclusions? We have to move right to the conclusions now, please. After an examination of the findings by proof methodology, of course, the section concludes that further study may be warranted to increase the relevant data base before implementing policy or policy related decisions based on the study of these conclusions. It does? Yes. Well, I'd like to say the facts speak for themselves. Indeed, they do do so. Uh, I'll forward your conclusions to the next level. And with my recommendation, and I believe I speak for all of those in this chamber, as well as all of you as well, when I say that I'm happy to announce that it is exactly this sort of effort that will one day make the solutions to this problem, a crucial, uh, this crucial problem, a thing of the past. I thank my student colleagues for the words. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your presentation. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Am I running late? Your minutes have been rescheduled, sir. Oh, what's your name? Silas, sir. Uh, French family, are you? No, sir. Excellent. <laughs> Woo! Lunch! Let's go! I consider it a miracle. Well, not an actual miracle, yeah. but yeah. Uncle Greg's very excited about the project, Bobby. Couldn't wait to meet you. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Unfortunately, maybe you know, he had a bit of a stroke last year, so he hasn't had an active role in the foundation that he's been, so. He won't be here. No, but we told him about your reel. He's very excited. I mean, he takes a personal interest. That is terrific. It is. He's been blessed with 83 years so far. I only pray to be so lucky. Mm. Bob, you are a talented man. I've had my moments. No, we were all impressed with what we saw in your reel. We screamed a lot of them. Plenty of bits on the song. Bob, I mean to tell you, you must have gotten 200 hours worth of tape. Mm. Remember that time you had in the trades? I didn't think I told your agent. Maybe took all the time to build him on this. He was. Uh, it's no problem. No, I don't like it, but it's our first ride, and we have to watch our costs. So I'm bowled over by the color of the response. Truly am. I'd love to get my hands on this, Steve. Well, let's hope so, Bobby. Let's hope so. We're all very excited about hearing your perspective on it. And, uh, well, let's just see where that takes us. Sure, I'm only saying I have really good feelings about it. Let's just see where that takes us. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what'd you like in particular? Hmm? On the reel? Oh, tons, Bob. All of it. Sort of a medley, you know. My best spots. The American Super Soap? Very proud of that one. Oh, not that one? Uh, the suitcase with the gorilla and the waterfall? Oh, right. You don't know a headache until you've directed one of your major primates. Interesting. The kicker, of course, spot never aired. Some baby kid in Atlanta gets locked inside of a suitcase, suffocates, lawsuit, blah blah blah. Upshot being, they yanked the product. That's terrible. 
Sure, a national spot like that could just turn your whole career around. Me? Nothing. Might as well not have done the damn thing. Although, it was a really growth experience. Yeah. Actually, the one we liked the most, mm. I think the one everyone here responded to, was that Johnny Dexter video you did. Uh, you really felt that all-American boy quality. That's Johnny, a doll to work with. Is he? Oh yeah, like you'll say, Johnny, could we talk about this? And he'll go, okay. <laughs> oh, well he's got a lot of fans at the foundation. We love his music, we love what he's saying, and we love the spirit of his message. He's very special. He is. He's speaking to the working man. He's singing about hope, oh, and I'm glad he's been blessed. You guys still in touch? Oh, sure. Actually, you move on to bigger things, right. and uh, frankly, the rock videos. Who can blame him? So, Bobby, America. Uh, yeah. Where are we headed? How can we get back? Great title. Have you had a chance to look it over? I, I have indeed. On the plane? Opinion. Honestly? Yeah. I love it. You think it's doable? It's beautifully doable. Heck's a heck, heck of a wallow. And I'll tell you something else. I think it's going to change a lot of people's minds. A lot of people, Steve, if it's done right. You just want to do it right. Of course you do, which is why it's crucial to... Wait, well, before we got wrapped up in all that, I mean, what kind of distribution are you looking at? Uh, uh, wait, actually, this is kind of premature. No, not at all. I think we can count on time to have in like Tampa, Grand Rapids, mid-sized markets like that. Steve, is there any chance in New York? New York City? Yeah, the city area. Well, I'll tell you, Bobby, personally, there's a lot to be gained in New York. An awful lot. Which is exactly what I'm thinking. Two things, unfortunately. Thing one, the money thing. One, one hour prime time in New York City, quarter paid Johnny and Dailies. Just don't have the resources right now. Thing two, the big thing. Dr. LeMaire won't even listen to the idea. Why is that? The thing is, Bobby. I don't like it, but there it is. Gotcha. I mean, we can live without New York. I've been in marketing long enough to know we can launch something without New York ever coming into it. I'm just suggesting. I can name a puggy, Bobby. The diapers? <laughs> the entire West Coast. Zero to 60 market share. They're still talking about it. What made you? I was living so wrong, man. My whole life was ruined. The wrong principles, the wrong goals. There was no force that in my actions. And I thought that was good. I thought that made me free. A lot of nonsense in my head. Listen, I clocked in at 340 pounds. Wow. Now, thank God I changed that. Thank God he let me change. And let me here. There are no accidents, Bob. We all can't wait in the balance. Sooner or later, there is judgment. Well, amen to that. Amen indeed. You want to talk talent? Uh, yeah. Be happy to. Ooh, he has a list. Yeah, I got a little list. Let's hear it. Okay, now, I want to... Bear with me, Steve. I want to back up and take a leap at this. Yeah. Okay, so what are we saying with the skirt? What's our basic tag? We're saying, America, hello, wake up, what's going on with you? Good, good. You've turned away from your history. You've gotten caught with false values. False prophets. Uh, prophets, yeah, values. And the second hand's ticking away. So we've got all these wonderful scenes. We've got Ben Franklin, the kite, um, steamboats, immigrants singing, men on the moon, Abe Lincoln, a beautiful place with Lincoln, by the way. I, I have a little question. What's that? So he's on the train. He's fussing about a black reporter comes on in quoting the gospel. Like, it gives him the idea for the Gettysburg Address. Is it true? What do you mean? In the sense of it happening, it actually had happened. I mean, maybe not in the restricted use of the word, but it worked for our purposes. It's fine, we're not making a documentary. We're showing heritage. Basically, we're great, and let's not forget that. Yeah, exactly. But see what's happening. See what's going in our, on in our streets, in our schools, in our homes. The, the crime, the drugs, the heavy metal. Abortions. Yeah, abortions. And uh, the reading of books. All these factors we're playing right into, correct me if I'm wrong on this, as I make it out from the script, we're playing right into Satan's hands. In a nutshell. Okay, Satan. In dramatic form, in dramatic terms, he's our psycho slasher. God, he's the white hat. Slavery, the Indians, Hitler. He got us through all of that for his reasons. And what we've got, we've, we've got to make a choice. Do we want to be bad with these um, abortions and whatnot? Are we going to smell the poppy, head ourselves back into the church where responsible, trained experts can tell us what to do? Because if whoa, not... Whoa, 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 whoa. Pardon the interruption. Uh -huh. I love what you're pitching here, but I think you're fine when I'm specifically mentioning the church. We're not. Our thinking here, Bob, is that we're not targeting our church doors anymore. Four or five years ago, yeah, wide open. Uh, but we're seeing... 
image problems in that area. Mm -hmm. So now, at the foundation, we're saying, hey, what about those people over whatever background that don't believe in church or in Jesus? They hear they think someone's trying to trick them. No. Mm -hmm. So those people are saying, don't worry about church. Don't worry about Jesus. No mumble jumbo here. Try on God. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Get comfortable using God. See how it looks against your carpet. Then next time around, we up the end. We say to those divers of whatever background, hey, guess what? Everyone else is over here, and you're looking a little funny standing there by yourself. That's what comes next, see? Mm. Yeah, good good point, but I have some beauty shots for that, though, like really holy. Well, they're still broken with some ideas. Nothing that's fine. Uh, sure, it's not written in stone, which is why, based on what you're saying, which incidentally, I think it's dead on the money. It's very important that the link between all of this, our host or our narrator, whatever we call him, he's got to be someone we can trust, someone with a little head. So we want a name, but not an overdone name. We don't want someone that they'll say, oh, they paid him to do that. We want the kind of guy where we're from, the, a horse, Grand Canyon, Capitol Steps. He's talking to us because he wants to. And when we zoom in close and his face fills up that 60-inch Sony screen, we look straight into his eyes and we believe him. And we pick up our phones and we dial that toll free number and we take out our credit cards and say yes to America. Or whoever. Now, keeping all of this in mind. Who are you thinking of? Alan Rickman. Snake from Harry Potter. Oh, right, I know. Familiar but not too familiar. He's dead, Bob. What? Yeah, dead for some time now. Huh. Oh, I mean, I don't think that's where we're trying to head anyway. I don't get much more from Alan Rickman, dead or alive. No, good point. Uh, that was just a throwaway, though. My first instinct, who I think is perfect, Michael Douglas. You're talking Michael, you're talking heritage. He's wonderful. He's Jewish. I'm sorry? Michael Douglas, I'm pretty sure, is Jewish. Is that an issue? Not for me, not personally, but it gets us into a problem area. Hmm. Yeah? Not from the doctor's point of view. Harrison Ford. Bit obvious. Bruce Campbell. Good for the viewers. Kevin Spacey. Alan Rick, wait, I already did. Say, Bob. Uh, yeah? You know who just occurred to you might be a really fun choice? Who? Your musical pal. Uh, I can Dexter. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> what do you think of that? I, uh, I wouldn't rule him out, but Kevin's really. There's a real crossover potential from Johnny Dexter. Killer demographics. We're getting a really cultivated image of working class and shit. That's just full of mind. What about Bob Saget, Steve? I put John at the top of the list, Bob. Now obviously, he is a busy man, and we can't afford to buy, buy him outright. So what if we approach him with the importance of the idea, mm -hmm. using the relationship you two already have, and see where it takes us? Uh, it's not really Johnny's kind of thing, Steve. We're talking about America, aren't we? Johnny's into America. Listen, he was part of the Feed the Poor deal, right? There's common ground here. He's not an actor, Steve. A great performer, but not an actor. And? As much as I love the guy, I think it'll hurt us. I disagree. Okay. Um, Cards on the table, Bob. Whether a Johnny Dexter is brilliant or awful, it makes no difference. Whether the film is brilliant or awful, it makes no difference at all. Mm -hmm. If you say something enough times, people start to believe you. That's a marketing fact. You know, there's change happening all across the country, and we want this whole individual to be part of that. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you sell monkeys? Are you really before my baby's bottom? Is God really good for my life? People don't know what to think. They need to be told. So you wear them down, and you wear them down, and you wear them down. Mm -hmm. You want some stress pizza? No thanks. No. Now our bottom line here, Bob, is that the idea of you and Johnny together on this project is very appealing to us. It's very appealing it's to me too. More appealing, Bob, than the idea of let's say just one of you. The idea, for instance, you know, yourself. What are you saying specifically, Steve? Johnny Dexter, Bob. Can you get him? I really want to be part of this, Steve. But I think I could give you some great product that you'd be very proud of. And working under the minimum wage, uh, it's not an issue. I mean, I'm just dying to get my hands on something that runs longer than 30 seconds. And the, the content that we're saying and discussing and all of it, I'm in I mean, complete agreement. It makes a whole lot of sense, but I, I can't take you Johnny Dexter. Why is that? Johnny and I don't have a working relationship at this time. Huh. Look, it's a long story, a long, boring story. I feel good about this, Steve. I really do. So do I, Bob. That's why I want to make sure everything works out. Right.
for the extra boost. Bob, thanks for joining us. Oh. Okay. Oh, Steve, when do you think you'll be deciding by? Oh, I wish I could say, got all these tapes. Uh, it's because I have a lot of other projects, so you'd have to work around those. Well, they're flexible, though. Bob, goodbye. Bring it Wait, 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 wait. I don't know Alfonso Rivera. Who? Alfonso, uh, Prince from Fresh Prince. You mean the MCV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alfonso was the star, very big. I know him. Well, how about that? I mean, on a personal level. I didn't want to bring him up because, well, just between you and me, Alfonso's just coming out of a very dark period right now. He's asking himself some big questions, the God question. I'd love to bring him into this. I have a feeling to be very approachable. No way is he Johnny Dexter. No. But he's not Johnny Dexter money either. Right. If that matters at all. Very marginal. If that's all you think. The 30-somethings go wild, like absolutely wild with him. He can't walk down the street alone. Really? Yeah, I've seen it. But who cares about him, right? Yeah. Bob, he's approachable. Oh, yeah, he's approachable. Definitely. If he was aware of my participation. Let's call him that a condition? We're not not calling it a condition. Aren't you a little son of a gun? We all start somewhere, don't we? You know what's very nice, Bob, about this country? That two people of whatever backgrounds can sit across the table and in spite of their differences or even their actual feelings, can reach an understanding and work towards a common goal. Yeah. I think that if we have that kind of understanding. I think so too, Steve. Then Bobby, of which one? Well, first of all, and I don't see this as much of an ego thing, but I want my name right above the title. You got it. Okay. Hmm. We opened with the helicopter shot, sweeping in on a white stretch of unspoiled beach. On the left, the gem-like blue of the mighty Atlantic, and on the right, a vast, unbroken wall of primeval wilderness. A lone figure kneels on the sands, thanking God for this gift of a new world. That beach is Plymouth Rock. And that man is Christopher Columbus, or whoever. Sidewalks hung to not look trash and clever. I imagine here, I I have to be, sir. I'm sympathetic. Thank you, sir. As hard as it is to be striving the world in another shoes, you're a man with a family. No, sir. A wife who depends on it. I'm not married. My friend, you should know the joys of a woman. I have. Then I shake your hand. Uh, what'd you get to her? Bring me espresso. Anything else? Not now. Brace you as a brother. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it me?
castle, partially which dates from the 14th century. Houses of one of the world's foremost collection of maritime art, including a scrimshaw whistle blown by the commonest of all during the War of the People. No. What? No. Museum? No. It's not a museum, it's a castle. Let's not split hairs, please. There's a guided tour of the old town, sponsored by the uh, Emperor Brotherhood. No! Oh, oh. It's starting at noon. Oh! A demonstration of traditional weaving methods. Uh -huh. Don't miss this colorful native market. Look. What? I want to go back to the hotel. And do what? Nothing. I'm going to scream. Feel free. A whole wonderful. God damn it. I am sick of pots and bracelets. If you yell at me, I'm going to go. Go ahead. Go look at a moccasin. <laughs> <laughs> the mountains. The mountains are lovely. They're always worth the dirt. And the sea, of course the sea. I never tire of it. What you talking about? In the city itself, what a pleasure just to watch the passing pageants. You're a visitor, no? Yes. You came by ship? No. Of course you flew. It was before. There's no shape in that. What were you doing? You were coughing? Where's your back? I think it was this way. And one of them was in the guy. Look, I was a very direct member. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, indeed. As a young man, are you pressed for time? Actually, no. What a lovely day, then. A lovely day to talk. As a young man, I traveled widely. I was not possessed of means. No, but my urge to wander was strong. To each of this continent's greatest cities, I went by train, by coach, by foot. And once I tapped the back of me with a variety of large flights as a bird. A story I will not bore you with now. But nowhere could I rest. No sooner had I arrived at my destination than a boy with impatience broke me off. The greatest works of a man in nature seem pitiful to me, as not a mere pitiful, a cathedral shapeless travesty. I drew inside myself and cursed the world for its tedium and horror. By the banks of the banks had out of bed for three days, my pockets empty, I turned my thoughts to the end of things. What happened? I stood upon the bank, about to lose myself in the dark waters. I noticed a woman, a girl really, staring at me. She said nothing, only loved. Through her eyes I saw, I saw the cowardice of my act, I saw the sin of my despair. Hot tears of shame filled my eyes as she led me from that barren place. In her simple flashy begging hearty made her suit. I confessed my soul to her. She was an orphan herself. And love grew between us. Just fine now, huh? <clears throat> and we have lived together in happiness for all these many years. So few things matter. So very, very few. Yes. That was a beautiful story. Yeah, very moving. I've never told it before. Who knows why? Look, I'm sorry. Thank you. The castle sounds pretty interesting. But what for? Yeah. Although we will never meet again, I shall treasure this moment always. <laughs> should, should I tell something? It might be wise. Look, Tom, why don't we go? Yes? All right, so punch. Let me arrest. Thanks. Go. Go away and love each other. <laughs>
These are my hands. They have sat around on their ass all day. They work, they build things. They earn their keep. What other hands they are? What fine hands they are? What? They're fine hands. Who asked you? I don't need charity. I can drink it for a beer if I want to. You're all bastards. You married? No. I've got three things, three kids. You think they care? They want me to bed. I worked here 15 years. Forget them. Forget them all. Let them try. Yes, let them. They'll find out. You know who it. Who? You know who. One of your rivers. You know what I'm saying? You see them all around the country now. 12 to a room. Sneaking up the neighborhood. Chattering like monkeys. You should see what they eat. And don't think they don't have money. Because they do. It's all under wraps. And they don't belong here. They got no right to take a romance job. I just like to... Yes? Nothing. Where would we be without the working man? Tell me about it. The nation's proud history. Send them back where they came from. There sometimes comes a point. There really sometimes does. What can we do? What can we do? A boot in the crotch. Huh. Hmm. That'd be nice. No one you're talking. A knife in the gun. One man alone? I've got friends. Strength in numbers, huh? I've got a lot of friends. Very conspicuous crowd. Or a mass. Yes, that's out of the way. What mess those monkeys up? Ah, the world. The world, come on. Tell you something. Put it there. You okay? I got some dishes. Oh my god, my friends. Quite serious, you know. Uh, I'm sure she would. You raised her by yourself? I did the best I could. What a fool for you. I loved your mother dearly. She had a hump, you know. Your daughter? My wife. And dearly to me. Well, as it's written, even in affliction, the thousand fool gift vis visited their own stupid. The gift. The. Exactly. Yes, yes. Another glass? I shouldn't. Why was it in here? Uh, yes, there certainly is. But now, sir. Yes, Monsignor. Is there no chance of loaning me? I, I don't know. Okay, look. Well, I understand your concerns, but a generation of such a generous nation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the least I could do. To deny the church a chance to show its gratitude. Good deeds are fakes and not. Very true, very true. Pride goes before a fall. Well said. Consider the lilies. Ah, yes. Who will cast his eye? My sentiments exactly. So you won't mention my name? As you wish. You're an extraordinary man, sir. Extraordinary. Are you? No, not at all. You're experienced and wise. You have seen much of the world. 
sadly, no. I'm, I'm sorry? I've never been abroad. I was sure you had. Unfortunately, this slight exposure makes me ill. Water in particular holds unfortunate associations onto my late wife. Travel would be impossible. I can set myself to several excellent magazines devoted to the subject, though. No, you, you missed nothing. I've been to the southern coast. The food is unpalatable, and bathing is infrequent. They're all quite naked, you know. Who is? Oh, all of them. The girls, the boys, all so remarkably young and naked without their clothes on, laughing and dancing beneath the tropic sun, flashing through the waves like what am I thinking? It's not a fish. And the the dolphin? Uh, yeah, maybe, perhaps. This was years ago. Quite innocent, really. I told them that. I told them how it was terribly, terribly innocent. Where were we? Travel. Ah, yes. Don't bother with it, sir. Yeah, there's nothing to it. Nothing at all. A tongue? Certainly. To the orphan. To who? Oh, yes. The, uh, the orphan. Yeah, of course. Yes, sir. How do you know this? We went. I met her. I went out to the coast. My name is Ashley. Yes. I had to go to Greece. I had to find out. The phone's in her eyes. <coughs> she pretends she never seen my notes. She lied. Pretending she was eating cheese. She didn't forgive me at all. Not every bit. But I love her. You love? Yes. The word I stabbed in the face. I haven't slept in like three days. Meaningless. They call me meaningless. I've quit the university. You have given up on scholarship. That's how she doesn't it? No. I can see it does. No, I'm kidding. Nothing is against me. There's no God. My heart is dead. I've never been born. My friend, I beg you. What can I do? I don't want to live. More of love? This morning. Pass her into the occasional sport. The hunting of small creatures seemed my heart. There's no such thing against me. For this purpose, I have a pistol, and although I no longer hunt, I still have this pistol and keep it in working order. It's a fine machine got me from Beetle for its own right. I told her. She knows me. Then she knows. I can fetch it now. You leave your table? Shh. You actually sit up on the table? If you're serious. I am, yes, very big. They say it's instantaneous. And a bold gesture. It is there. And no thought at all. Oh, uh, yes, I'm very thorough. I admire your courage. Uh, thank you, yes. I'll call a cab. Oh, right now. Why prolong your agony? Uh, the cab, that's not the too expensive. Why not? I'll stand you by you and pull the trigger. Oh, uh, yes. I'll catch your body as it falls. Uh, no, you're right. Of course you are, but I'm, um, uh, I'm in my room. My room. Or I have some letters. The act speaks for itself. Yeah, that's true. Not very true. I just have to. I have to. I'll be waiting for you. How come you bring so much coffee? Must there be a reason? I would pay a lot. Everything has its price, you know. 